Good day, students. My name is Mrs. Comfort Omotara. I will be your biology teacher for today. And the topic is the nose and the tongue. The nose and the tongue. Learning objectives. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to, one, Explain the mechanism of, of smelling with the help of olfactory chemoreceptors. Two, discuss the functions of the nose, which is the organ of smell. Three, describe the taste buds on tongue and the parts played in tasting. Happy listening. Sense organ, the nose and the tongue. The nose and the tongue, otherwise known as the organ of smell and organ of taste. Now let's look at the nose. The nose, which is known as, a, which is also known as olfactory organ, is the organ of smell. Is the organ of smell. It consists of grooves of chemo receptors found in the epithelial lining of the upper portion of the nasal cavity. It consists of groups of chemo receptors found in the epithelial lining of the upper portion of the nasal cavity. They are primary sense cells which form the fine processes that extend into the surface frame of mucus over the epithelium chemicals in the surrounding air dissolve in the mucus film and stimulate the chemoreceptors which send off sensory impulse through the olfactory nerves to the brain. The sense of smell in dogs, for example, is acute. This makes dog, this makes dogs very efficient hunters, so they can track and catch their prey easily, and also sense the presence of predators and escape quickly. In other organisms, chemoreceptors may occur in other parts. Of the body for example the butterfly has chemoreceptors on its antenna for sensing its environment butterfly has chemoreceptors on its antenna which allow it to be sensitive to its environment we do not know how smells are detected by the chemoreceptors one theory proposes that a particular smell is a mixture of several basic odors. Each type of chemical that gives rise to a basic odor has a specific molecular shape that enables it to latch onto a given smell chemoreceptor, according to the theory. So when this happens, the chemoreceptors become stimulated. Each basic odor producing chemical, therefore, has its own specific smell chemoreceptor. We experience a particular smell when the brain receives impulse from a certain combination of smell receptors. So, we, we experience a particular smell when the brain receives impulse or message from a certain combination of smell receptors. So, it's not a particular receptor. So, it's a combination of smell receptors. We shall be right back. You are welcome back. 
now let's look at the functions of the organ of smell functions of the organ of smell one it helps in avoiding bad and poisonous food it helps in avoiding bad and poisonous food once the food is bad once the food is poisonous the odor will tell us and it's it is this organ of smell that will help us in avoiding bad and poisonous food two unfamiliar and dangerous odors such as those from wild animals can be detected and avoided immediately you smell those uh, wild animals you know those animals that normally run from them once they smell they perceive that odor they, 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 they once they detect them that odor then they escape from them so unfamiliar and dangerous odors such as those from wild animals can be detected and avoided three smell of burning food burning food and leakage of cooking gas can be detected and immediate actions are taken to remedy the situation In most cases when you enter your kitchen you are perceiving the odor uh, the food is burning then definitely you have to take action to remedy the situation four animals depend on smell greatly to help them locate food mate and escape from their predators most animals you see them it is through their smell you see them escaping from their predators and also they locate their food their mates and also escape from their predators five trained dogs are used to trail criminals trained dogs are used to trail criminals they detect the odors left behind by criminals and use such to trace them because they have been trained to do that so through that you can see them detecting the odors left behind by the criminals and they can trace them back to where they are so when the dog finds itself when a dog finds itself in an unfamiliar environment, it can find its way home through the smell, by smell. Then six, the nasal mucus contains lysosome. The nasal mucus contains lysosome, which kills bacteria and viruses, which kills bacteria and viruses take a cursory look at the diagram below you see the organ of uh, smell you see the the nostril let's start from the below the nostril followed by the nasal cavity that is the passage where the smell will be perceived then there is nasal bone then that leads to olfactory bulb then we have the olfactory track so that is the diagram showing the organ of a smell i want you to look at it very well and study the diagram thank you we shall be right back you are welcome back now let's look at the organ of taste in mammals the organ of taste is the tongue taste chemoreceptors are grouped on the upper surface of the tongue on the soft palate and in the epithelium at the back of the mouth these chemoreceptors are specialized sense cells that snaps with 
sensory neurons. On the tongue, they are found in the taste buds. Taste buds lie in grooves on the surface of the tongue. Taste buds lie in grooves on the surface of the tongue. Substances have to be in dissolved form to stimulate the taste receptors. We can experience four types of basic taste with our tongues according to what taste receptors perceive. So what you taste is according to what your taste receptors perceive. The tongue is sensitive to four primary tastes, sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. The back of the tongue is sensitive to bitter taste, the sides to salty and sour stimuli, while the tip is sensitive to sweet sensations. The tongue can also detect alkaline taste texture of food as well as its temperature. Now let's look at the defects of the organ of taste. Some people are however known to lack the ability to tell the taste of substances. They are called non-tasters. Those people that are unable to you know, to, to observe or to know to that they lack the they, they lack the ability to tell the taste we call them non-tasters this may be due to damage to the taste area of the cerebrum of the brain of the cerebrum of the brain the taste buds in the tongue that is the diagram showing the taste buds of the tongue you can see the tongue you can see how the taste buds are shown in them now evaluation students state the four types of sensation the tongue is sensitive to and the sections of the tongue that respond to these sensations state the four types of sensation the tongue is sensitive to and the sections of the tongue that responds to these sens sensations. Two, briefly discuss the organ of taste. Briefly discuss the organ of taste. Assignment, make a drawing to show the different taste buds on the surface of tongue of man. Make a drawing to show the taste, the different taste buds on the surface of tongue of man. For further studies, visit the website www.britannica.com www.britannica.com Then read College Biology for Senior Secondary School, Idodo Ume. Thank you.